Hey guys, it's the Wolf, and uh, I'm back with some more RDR2 online gameplay. And today I'm going after some player bounties. So if you guys don't know what that is, um, when you reach level 12 as a um, bounty hunter, you can opt in to going after players with high bounties. And I love it because uh, I figure if a player's got a high bounty, I figure he's a griefer, he's out uh, causing all kinds of mayhem and havoc uh, on other players. So if I can take his ass in and throw him in jail and piss him off in my own small way, I love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. So this first one I turned the camera on a little bit late. It was a $20 bounty. I don't think I've ever got a $20 bounty before this guy. And he ran up a cliff and then jumped down the other side. And then I don't know what he was doing. He was just walking out across this field. Maybe he jumped in his menu for a second and didn't realize I was behind him. <laughs> but I just roped him like right there and uh, tidy him up. And threw him on the back of my horse and took him to the prison wagons. $20 in my pocket and <laughs> he's in jail. So that was a fun one. But they don't always go that good as you'll see here. Um, so this one started out around tumbleweed. I had myself a nice three star pronghorn buck across the back of my saddle that I didn't want to lose. But hey, you know, when uh, duty calls you gotta take it, right? I was actually way down by Plainview when I when I got the notification and, and this dude was all the way up by Tumbleweed so I had a bit of a ride. You only get four minutes to catch these guys and then you get five minutes to deliver them. You know, you don't have much time, especially if you gotta go across half the map. I, on this one I spend, you know, like a good three minutes just trying to get to Tumbleweed and uh, I know he's in town. I checked my map a couple times. I get my gun out because I'm running out of time. I'm thinking about just killing him. And then here comes, look at that. Oh. And then uh, when I get up, oh yeah, he's on me. He's got the explosive ammo. <laughs> and just puts me down. He was up on the saloon is where he was, just waiting for me. And he, he got a lucky break when that other bounty hunter, as you can see here, it was a bounty hunter. He's got a bounty on the back of his horse, so I'm sorry that I collided with him. But, you know, when you're going through town, dude, <laughs> you got to slow down a little. Um, by the time I respawn and get back into town and uh, go to where I think he might still be, he is long gone. He took out and I chase him for a ways out of town here and I can't find him. He just outran me and gets away. So that guy beat me, but... Uh, Somebody else will catch him down the road, I'm sure. <laughs> it was a fun one either way. So sometimes I actually send multiple player bounties out after the same bounty. And as you can see, I, I pass up this guy right here shooting at somebody. But he just killed the bounty. I just passed up the bounty right there. And the bounty's just laying there. And as you can see, he kind of comes over. I don't know why he didn't you know, come and take him. But either way, one of us takes him in. I notice that with a lot of other players, they don't really even give a chance to some of these bounties. They just kill them outright, and that looks like that guy's style. So <laughs> I kind of wish they would, um, you know, like give you some kind of indication who another bounty hunter is. Because a lot of times when you got another player and he's sort of in the middle of, because you know, let's, let's face it, most of the time when there's a gunfight ha happening. Most players that don't want to be involved are like getting out of there. But sometimes you'll see a blue dot just like right in the middle of everything. And uh, you know, it's tough when you're in a gunfight. You don't want to accidentally uh, shoot shoot another bounty hunter. So I wish the game would kind of like somehow let you know or make their dots a little different so that you knew who was, you know, on your side and who wasn't. So this one, this one actually started like right as I came out of, you know, just playing like a legendary bounty. I was up there playing the, uh, like the Virgil Edwards legendary bounty which is the cult leader it's a lot of fun and as soon as I drop out uh, and get my feet on the ground I get a bounty notification and so I check the map he's down there in the valley around Roanoke Ridge and uh, yeah I light out and try to get him I take a little tumble off the cliff here I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> but uh, I hate when that happens but Shorty's okay so I'm back on him and I go flying down into the woods there and um, this is a situation where you know I mean it's so thick in there it's like all you can really do is just draw a shot you know you, if you're gonna go slow and try to find these guys it's pretty much hopeless you don't have enough time for that so right there 
uh, I get shot by somebody and it turns out to be this guy's girlfriend and she takes me out uh, with extreme prejudice <laughs> but I'm back in pretty quick so this time I chug a health tonic get kind of ready for him so there she is again this time I was ready for him and I got her uh, he's over there on the left of me down behind that rock there's his head he just peeked out and I try to rope him it's hard to rope these guys in the trees though. I thought I was gonna be all right, but it, I think he was like unloading with a pump action shotgun on me. And uh, I spawned in one more time. Now I'm down to like, you know, a minute and 55 seconds or something. My horse is on the wrong side of the river. I'm basically running out of time. Here's his girlfriend again, freaking unloading on me. I get her and here he is. I, it might even be the same damn rock. <laughs> but I go ahead and put him down. I, I don't know if I should try to rope him one more time. I might have got away with it the second time. But, um, he looks like kind of a little bald hillbilly dude, which is kind of funny that they're hanging out around Roanoke Ridge. <laughs> but, you know, he was a tough one, I gotta admit. The guy gave me a run for my money, so good job, uh, Lord Halfgram. But, uh, I got him in the end. So this one was Blackwater, and uh, I get the notification as soon as I get out of the fast travel, which I notice like that's kind of what happens. If you go to a different area, you get that notification like real quick. Um, I checked the map, and I think they're headed my way, but this dude actually just decided to run like hell. <laughs> and so I'm trucking through the streets kind of slow with my rope out because I'm going to try to get him like if he comes around a corner. But he's just gone. He's like nowhere to be seen. So once I realize like he's out of town, I put my rope away and put old Shorty in the, into that hard run and just and just do the old fashioned chase him down. And uh, give my horse a little pep up shot there. There he is. He got off his horse. Now he's just running. <laughs> he's just running like hell. He's not into you and uh, <laughs> shooting it out with me. So I catch him, tie him up, throw him on my horse, take him in. Sometimes guys want to go to jail though with these with these things because there's a there's some kind of glitch where you can get into jail and just sit there uh, with the notifications off or something, and somehow it just leaves you in jail and you and you get you get gold for sitting in jail some way. I don't I don't know. I've never done it, but. Uh, I've seen other videos where guys do it. So sometimes I think these guys that <laughs> are easy to catch are just wanting to go to jail. But either way, uh, another one in the bag. This is one more that, that went completely fucking wrong and I have nightmares <laughs> about these guys. And as you can see, I am way the hell up there by Emerald Ranch. And it's at night. And these guys just run like hell. They freaking take off and there is no catching them. Uh, I chased them all the way down almost to Lagras, you know, through every fucking brush, bramble, and <laughs> everything else. I finally get a sight of them right there. They were up on there with the white horse and also the lanterns. If you're really going to run as a bounty, I'd say get rid of the lantern, dude, because that just makes you a, a freaking target from a mile away. I'm going to try to rope them, but they're heading right down here to this little area with a dock, and I figure they're going to fight me right here, but Oh, hell no, they're swimming across. Probably shouldn't have opened my menu right there. I take a dunk right in the water. And uh, now I'm in a world of hurt. They're shooting at me. I pull out my rifle. I shoot one of them. And unfortunately, I shoot the wrong one. You can see they cross right here. And this guy goes that way. And the other guy goes the other way. And they kill me. And they ran the whole way. And they're not going to stop running now. And just you know keep on going they went off towards roads and never saw them again so uh, it ticks you off but uh, they beat me fair and square here's another guy that ran like hell so I'm up by Fort Mercer and I get a notification I hit Shorty with a little more horse stimulant again Shorty is a great fucking horse for doing bounty work I love this horse he's the buckskin Mustang and, uh, you know, I mean, just look at the stamina on this sucker. He's got like a full ring of health and stamina once he's fully bonded. And the other thing I love about him is he's just not spooky like a lot of the horses. Like, I got the black Arabian also. 
He's one of my backup horses. I also have the White Arabian. The Black Arabian's like 40 gold or something. He was super expensive. And, you know, he's very spooky. Like, a lot of things will really bother him, especially gunfights. Like, Shorty will just stick in there. I'll be, like, getting bullets rained down on me while I'm trying to get my bounty up on top of him, and he won't go anywhere. And he's also fast. I could take him in the horse races and win the horse races sometimes. And uh, he's just a great all-around horse. So anyway, this guy's just running, 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 running. I don't know if I'm going to catch him. I did just see him. He just peeked up on that hill a second ago. And I don't know why he stopped. He had me beat, really. I mean, I'm down to like a minute. But for some reason, he decides to turn around and fight me. And that's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> there he was. I just saw him jump over a rock or something there. And he's turning sideways. Oh, I see. He actually gets caught up against that little canyon and had to turn. He must have got mixed up where he was going. Gets his revolver out and takes a shot at me, but it's too late. I got him. And uh, I tie him up and uh, throw him on shorty and uh, take him in. I wish you could loot these guys. I think it'd be great if you could like take 10 bucks out of their pocket or something when you catch them. <laughs> anyway, um, so when you catch a guy over here, you don't have to take him all the way back. There's a bounty wagon over here, uh, kind of parked over by that lake where uh, you can get the James Langston missions. So let's take him there, throw him in, and uh, enjoy your time in jail, pal. I do love the player bounties. They are really some of my favorite things to do in the game. And uh, partially because I, I really hate griefers in the game. I just can't stand guys that will randomly shoot you and randomly rope you. You know, when you're not looking or you're not paying attention or you're just out hunting or, you know, selling your hides or something. And uh, all of a sudden you're getting drugged across town. <laughs> Or the guys that just want to fight you for like 20 minutes endlessly when you just don't want to do it, you know? And they just won't leave you alone, you know? It's always like the three-on-one. I don't usually play in posse, so I'm by, by myself usually. And, you know, when, when it's like that, you're just a target for these guys. And uh, I, that's why I love the, uh, the player bounties. Because I figure if these guys got bounties, they're probably out doing bad stuff. And uh, probably out griefing other players. And... Uh, you know, it's just cool. When you catch them, you throw them in jail, they spawn to some other part of the map where they can't come and find you. <laughs> it's almost like you finally get to kind of one-up these guys. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and, uh, and I'll be back in a few days with some more Red Dead Redemption Online <laughs> and all that stuff. <laughs> yep, just when you think you're going to look cool, something like that happens. <laughs> And I just talked Shorty up for like five minutes in this video about how, what a great horse he is. And then he does that to me. <laughs> anyway, see you guys.